hey loves and welcome back to my channel it's ijoma here and i'll be making an illustration of this dress that this i did not make this dress for anybody it is more like an illustration but following it you can sew the dress but it is looking good actually and the process is very easy so if you're making this type of dress i will recommend a stretchy fabric it should be a stretchy fabric so that it will relax very well on your body now i have my basic skirt block i have drafted a basic skirt block if you have been following me you should know how to draft a basic skirt block i have the front and the back and the back has a zipper allowance and i'll keep that aside i also have a basic bodice block and it has a v neckline the front has a v neckline the back neckline the depth is 1.5 so it stopped at the half length i've not added any allowance for now and i'll go ahead and notch the dart for the back then you can see that we have our front and our back i will keep my back aside i'll cut it on the normal fabric but for the front i will have to do some manipulations on this front before we can start sewing the the dress the, the the bodies of this dress has the slash and spread right now this is the front and this is the fabric that i will be using it is a calico like it is should i call it a an army green calico then that's what i'll be using for this and add one inch seam allowance to the bodies to the bodies add one inch for your seam allowance so for the front from the bust point, you will measure your underboss, get your underboss, and mark your underboss line. This is my underboss line. Then I'll label my underboss. Then at the side of these bodies, I will come down by one inch from the underboss, and from that one inch, I will connect to the center of my bust point. One inch below underboss, and then to your bust point. You can see what I did there. So this is the V shape that we'll be using and i'll go ahead and cut the other one of the other one we have our normal body measurements but this particular top the top area like they ha we have two pieces here right the down and the upper one so this down one i'm just trying to close my dart on my fabric you can go ahead and close your darts on your paper sorry you will close your dart on your paper so that when you are cutting out on your fabric you don't have to add another dart on your fabric your fabric will be plain so i'm trying to close the the dart this is the center and this is the side so after closing the dart i'll go ahead and trim it off very well so the side you can see that the side is somehow longer that is because i did not add a boss that what i'm going to do is that i will go ahead and trim everything properly that is one good thing about closing that on paper it will give you a very clear view of what you are doing you can adjust before sewing so you can see i'm trimming off the side because i did not add a boss that now everything is equal this one is for the lower part of the bodies and the other one is the top so for this top i'm going to mark straight lines on it i'm going to mark straight lines on it because i will slash and i will spread that's why i said that you should use a stretchy fabric if you are making this use a stretchy fabric not a thick fabric a light stretchy fabric so that after making these drapes when you wear it on your body everything will relax everything will relax very very well so you can see i am marking straight lines and i also want to make my neckline to be deeper i want my v-neck to be deeper and i will also label all these pieces do not forget to label your pieces so that when you are cutting out when you are spreading you will not get confused i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven i have eleven pieces here so what i'm going to do is that using this paper this upper one i will cut out my lining first i will cut out the lining for the upper one this is for the back i am done cutting out my pieces for the back the back is just normal not normal that and all then for the skirt i am done cutting out my skirt this is the back i have two pieces right there it has a zipper allowance and i'll also keep it aside i've also cut the front part of my skirt this is the front part and it is unfold though on that picture we have on the thumbnail the 
it has a joining at the center but i didn't want to add that joining to my own now this is the fabric that i am using a calico actually or lining i will cut out the lining for the top first of all before slashing it you can see this one i will cut out the lining first because this lining that i am cutting out will serve as a guide after spreading your fabric this lining is what you are going to gather on if you do not have this lining you may get confused and that is one of the reasons why i said that you should use a stretchy fabric if you use a stretchy fabric for your lining also everything will relax very well on your body now after doing that i will go ahead and cut out the major top so you fold your fabric as much as you can just fold this very very well then you go ahead and spread your paper on it you will slash and you will spread your paper on it so at this point i felt like the fold i have is okay the gathers i have on my own dress is somehow fuller than the gathers of the original design you understand so it is up to you if you want your your gathers to be full fine if you want it to be scanty fine but i think the scanty one is somehow finer i'll go ahead and slash all these pieces and after slashing them i will spread them with like two two inches you can see the way i am slashing after slashing i will spread with like two two inches so as i was spreading i noticed that the fabric was not really you know it's not really enough so i had to fold my fabric more and i took it off so as you are spreading this please be very careful because you know that the paper will be will be in a descending order like as you are going towards the side the papers will be coming down just make sure that they are equal at the shoulder level as long as they are equal at the shoulder level the rest will take care of themselves so now i will rearrange them so that this fabric that i have will be enough and after that you should measure the distance you have it should be two two inches two two inches this spreading that i did is even too much so you can see what i have right there and this is my center so i'll go ahead and arrange my v-neck properly after doing that you will go ahead and add half an inch at the top and half an inch at the down part but please i'll advise you to add one one inch on each side one, one inch at the shoulder area and one inch at the down part after draping you can now trim off the excess you have so i'll go ahead and cut out my v-neck and if i open it up you will see what i have but before that let me iron these pieces like these pieces are rumpled so now i have opened it up and you can see what i have I have opened it up this is the lining and the other one is the main fabric first first things first i'll go ahead and turn my neckline first of all turn your neckline first of all and notch then top stitch so after turning my neckline i will go ahead and shape my skirt this is my skirt i have closed the back part it is a short skirt so there is no point adding a slit to it i'll just go ahead and take my body measurements my waist my hip and my knee measurement so now after adding after marking my measurements and i'm done turning my neckline also turn your neckline first of all it is important you can notice that the fabric that i want to drape is somehow shorter than the lining that's why i said that if you are cutting make sure that the main fabric is way longer than the lining make sure that it is longer than the lining i am showing you guys my mistake so that you will not do it when cutting so what you are going to do right now is that you will start gathering your fabric around your shoulder i'll take you guys to my sewing machine so that you can see what i did there after doing that you will also gather the fabric though the fabric is okay now but please add extra allowance add extra you will gather at the shoulder and at the down part this is really important i will also repeat the same thing on the other side so taking you guys to my sewing machine i will start gathering so this is the one that will be around the shoulder area so if you want you can gather and then attach to your shoulder but i am pleating everything on my shoulder this fabric that i'm using is somehow thick for this style that's why i said that you should use a light 
lycra like a light stretchy fabric then after pleating on the shoulder i will cut off after that i will start from the armhole just make sure that the pieces that you cut out enters what you are doing so when i got to the armhole area i pleated some also then as you are pleating you'll be cutting out the excess you have what i'm going to do now is that i will pleat around the v area the down part now, this is like the yoke of this dress i'll start pleating there so you guys should just watch how i did them if i if you have any issue you can just loosen and repleat again i hope you understand what i'm saying <laughs> Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness now i am done and i'm done trimming off and i ironed it i ironed what i have so now i am going to join the top and the down part i'm trying to cut out the down parts of that bodies so you fold your fabric and then you place your pattern paper on it then you add half an inch around everything after cutting this i'll also cut out my sleeve so for the sleeve you are free to add any sleeve of your choice but i am adding a puffy sleeve to this i want to add a puffy sleeve to this i'll fold my fabric twice after folding it twice i'll just go ahead and cut out my sleeve so i'll add an elastic at the down part and then i'll gather it at the top now this is the base of this bodice i'll go ahead and fix it i'll join the top to the down part you can see i closed that on my paper so i don't need to add any that to this after joining this is what i have this is an illustration i hope you remember i'm not making this dress for anybody so right now i'll go ahead and join the front and the back i'll join them at the shoulder and i'll also shape so after shaping just trim your armhole trim your armhole then you will join the upper part to the lower part of the skirt after doing that you will also attach your sleeve so i am done attaching my sleeve and then this button is custom made using your button i don't have a button maker so i took it to the market i told them the size i wanted using my fabric you make a custom button this is my custom button you are free to decide the size that you want so what i'm going to do now is that i will start placing it on my fabric so I'm arranging 
I'm not going to attach this. This is just a tutorial, guys. I'm just illustrating for the sake of the people that wanted this tutorial. So I'll just go ahead and arrange my buttons. And at the end of the day, this is what I have. So guys, you know I have a fashion school. That's why I've not been posting. I am doing a lot. I am doing a lot. But by the grace of God, I will keep posting on YouTube. YouTube actually helped my career. So I'll keep posting. So guys, do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so that more soulmates can see it i hope our dress is beautiful and please we have online classes in case you want to register we have online classes just drop a comment in the comment section and i will direct you on how to register um with us thank you all and see you on my next video bye